All right, welcome back to the Larry Elder Show. The number to call in, 888-971-7243, 888 971 We're talking to Stephen Moore, the Distinguished Visiting Fellow for the Project for Economic Growth uh, and Institute for Economic Freedom and Opportunity. Stephen, just before we get off, if people want to find you and find out what you're up to, where do they go? Well, if people want to get our little economic newsletter we put out every uh, morning, which has been very popular, it's free, by the way. Just go to just uh, go to Committee to Unleash Prosperity, and I hope you get that call. If you aren't, if you don't, I need to get it to goes to 100,000 people. And John Fond and I and a few others put that out every morning. And Newt Gingrich says it's the first thing he reads every morning. So, Committee to Unleash Prosperity dot com. All right, I love that. I love that. Okay, all right. So, Stephen, let's pretend like you were president for a day. What do, what do we do to get this economy back in shape? So the first thing we do is we actually do, do exactly the – think of everything Biden has done and do exactly the opposite. And, I, and I'm not kidding, Paul. I mean, I we do exactly the opposite of what Biden is doing. You know, we, we don't need $4 trillion of spending right now. We need to be – after a crisis is over, and, and COVID is basically over now thanks to Trump and, and the, the vaccine, what, usually after like World War II or after the Cold War, we actually cut spending. We need to be aggressively cutting government spending. By the way, government spending – you know this, Carl. Where did this crazy idea come from that government spending stimulates? All the government st- spending stimulates is government. It does. It, it, the only way. Let me put it very simply, because this is really important. I know you know this as a businessman. The only way that the government can give you a thousand dollars is to take a thousand dollars away from me, right? It's not. It's a zero sum game, and all we're doing is taking money away from producers and giving it to people who don't produce. That's that formula for disaster. You know what? It, it, it's so funny that you mention that. I talk about that often on my show, and one of the things. It, 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 it's frustrating to hear Biden talk about it, but it's even more it, – it's scary to me that people believe it, that, that there's such a lack of, uh, of understanding when it comes to economics uh, in America that, that, that it completely baffles me. It completely scares me that he could say the things that he says about inflation and just completely get away with it. Another thing, he was talking to a, uh, a restaurant owner that was at his town hall, probably one of the ones that weren't stacked. And and basically he told the guy, listen, you know, your workers are looking for pay right. elsewhere. And he right. had I mean, the guy has no clue how to run a business. And, you know, and, and I'm thinking he, he just told the guy, well, pay your employees more, basically, so that they don't leave. And I'm like, you know what? That you you can't just arbitrarily up your wages because <laughs> they, you know you have to consider expenses and all of this other stuff that goes into it. So a lot of people, I'm afraid as well. And 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 listen, you don't have to go with me here, Steve. But I'm like, I, these people seem to be intentionally trying to destroy the economy because somebody like that is going to have to go to automation in order to survive if he can't you make such thin margins in a restaurant it's ridiculous already so i have a good explanation carl i think it's a good explanation for why they believe these crazy things now think about somebody like joe biden what has Joe Biden done in his life? Well, he's never had a job. <laughs> I mean, all he's been, yeah. he's been in government his whole life. He's he, Not only has he not run a business, I don't think he's ever even worked for a business. So it was a supremely arrogant thing for the president to say to a small business owner, just raise your wages, because he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's never run mm-hmm. a business. And, and that, by the way, that's true. I'm thinking of, like, the top 30 people at this White House. None of them have business experience. Think about it, Carl. None of that's them have run a business. That's a great point. I mean, Kamala Harris has never run a, I mean, uh, a business. Uh, they, the, the, you know, people, even if the people at the Fed haven't run, run a business, they, they are all academics who have never really kind of worked for the private sector. And it, it is, it, you know, what I loved about Trump, and I didn't always agree with Trump, but I, I worked for him. I was one of his senior economic advisors. And he and I used to argue about things. But what I loved about Trump is he was a businessman, and he had a horse sense for what, what was right for the country. I, I don't think Biden has a clue how do how an economy works i totally agree with you we only have 30 seconds left here uh steven <laughs> yeah. moore i know well unless you can stay over i just don't want i want to be respectful <laughs> of your time i'm so mad i'll do it i'm so angry right okay. now and by the way the people are being hurt the most carl you know this are not the big companies like the amazons and the apples and the you know walmart it's exactly the small business guys getting crushed
That's that's my fear. That that's why I, I hate to think this, but I'm like, is this guy trying to intentionally destroy small business owners, thereby destroying the middle class? This is Carl Jackson. I'm sta- I'm talking with Stephen Moore. We'll be back right after the break. Don't go anywhere. This is the Larry Elder Show. Triple eight nine seven one seven two four three.